What's up everybody, it is Carnivore back here today. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm starting something new, something sick, something awesome. It is my top 5 zombie series. It is going to be hectic. It's going to be the best zombie series out there. Let's, let's hope you guys enjoy it, eh? Alright, I'd also, before I'd like to get into this, say I'd like to thank Space Party and Plurality for the gameplay they got for me. Uh, for this series, they did most of the work and I'd like to thank them for that. This first episode of the series is the top 5 best looking wonder weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 and World at War. Alright, so let's get into it. One last thing, I will be judging this on how the wonder weapon looks and what it looks like when it's killing the zombies and how the zombies look when they die. So nothing to do with the power or the stats or anything like that. It's just how they look, how good they look and how the zombies look or how it kills the zombies, the way it looks when it does that. Alright, number five. And coming in at the number five spot, we have the Paralyzer. Yeah, that's right. I like this gun. I think it looks really, really good. The whole design of it is quite unusual for a gun design. It's got lots of little valves and chains and sprockets spinning around and moving up and down. It looks quite old-fashioned, made out of like leather and all these old parts. It looks really mint. I like it the way it kills the zombies too. It slows them down because it's a paralyzer, so it's paralyzing them. Or making them paralyzed. And then it'll slow them down and then eventually they'll, they'll come really static, won't move, and then they just disintegrate into like a big ball or big patch of blood and paralyzes juice, you could say. I think it looks really cool. And the paralyzer comes in at my number five spot because of the way it looks and yeah. Coming in at the number 4 spot, we have the 31-79JGB215, or the Fractalizer, or as we all know, the Baby Maker. I like this gun, it is a sick looking gun. It is found on the map Shangri-La, and only Shangri-La. The whole design of it is really cool. Uh, the little oars or wings, you could say, on the sides of it that move up and down, they look like paddles on a boat, you could say, or wings it looks like it's flying i think that's a really mint feature and then the whole up the front how we've got like this funny looking ball on a lot on like a stick you could say and then it's got a loop around it it's just a really long looking weapon and then of course it's got the funny looking dragon's head on top which looks really nice too so that baby maker it looks sick also the way it kills the zombies it just shrinks them down as to what we'd call babies they're like a foot tall the insta kills that doesn't really matter though but it looks really funny it's something you don't see very often in zombies, something really unusual. And so yeah, just making these tiny little zombies is just really funny and that's why I like it so much. Coming down to the number three spot now, we have the Viltrolic Withering, which is the Blundgat that's turned into the Azagat and then Packer Punch. So yeah, the highest of highest upgrades. It is an absolute sick looking weapon. It is quite an old school looking weapon. It's like a mix between an old shotgun, a Blundgat and a a blunder bus and a ma musketoon, you could say. So it's really old retro looking. When when you upgrade into the acid gap, it has all these acid parts added to it. So it's got acid veins running through it that pump the acid from wherever it sits inside out to the front of the gun when you shoot it. And then when you pack a punch it to make it the Viltrolic Withering, it, it gets a dragon's head on it. And then it has these extra little like funny fountain bits at the tips of the end of the gun and that sh looks really mint and then when you shoot the gun it shoots out three looking three funny looking little acid capsules that stick to things the zombies get attracted to it and then they just blow up in a big acid fiery death explosion it looks really cool really nice and it fits the mob of the dead scary theme really well so that's number three coming in at number two we have a controversial weapon but it is the vr11 it is a, I think it looks like a really cool gun. It comes out of the box with unusual looking camo on it. It sort of reminds me of a spider, and I think it looks like a really sick gun to me. I know it's not powerful, that doesn't matter. And then also, the way it kills the zombies, it turns them into humans, and that's a really weird thing. Nothing happens in zombies like that before, so that's awesome. Another amazing thing, when you're playing co-op and shoot the other player, they get a really red looking screen. It's like they're tripping, like they've just like... High as a kite, baked as a cake, as 
uh, Plarity would say. They look really weird, but they're invincible for that short amount of time, and it just looks sick through that screen. It's really awesome. Really cool weapon to look at, and I think that deserves a number two spot. And now the number one spot for the best looking wonder weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 1, 2, and what it was. It is the one and only Wonder Wolf DG2. It is an amazing looking gun. It is the first proper wonder weapon ever created. And it just looks sinister. The whole thing is really evil looking, scary, and proper what you want to look at in zombies. The whole design of it, the electric theme of it, the light bulbs inside that carry electric currents from inside there out and shoot the tip. And then how it sparkles at the tip of the gun, the electric currents, the whole reload is really slow and very nice and rustic. The whole situation is just so amazing with that gun, it's sick. It's, it was designed by Rick Doffin, so that's why it's such a scary looking gun, which is fair enough. And then we move on to how it kills the zombies. Oh my god, they're amazing! It is sick. They shoot out electric currents, they all link up together, all the zombies uh, get electrocuted, they grab their heads, they take about five seconds to die, and they just electrocute, and they either their heads pop off, they just fall to the ground in a big white flash. It looks amazing to look at, and it's one of the best looking, it is the best looking wonder weapon out there by far. Also, it makes a few appearances along the line, and then if you play it, Black Ops 1, the DLC map pack of Doris, it you pack a bunch of it and it becomes gold, which looks pretty mint, so just a little thing. But yep, the Wonder Wolf DG2, best looking wonder weapon by far. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I had a lot of fun making it, and it uh, turned out pretty good, actually. Just letting you know, this is all my opinion, so don't worry about it if you disagree, but feel free to keep it to yourself anyway. It doesn't matter. I will be bringing out another one soon. I'm not too sure what it will be, but it will be pretty hectic either way. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to Rebate Gaming if you haven't, because we've got a lot of awesome content out there, zombies-related and anything else we can think of. It's always sick. Make sure to like the video and... Uh, sub share the video, get ready for more to come out on, on this series. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Carnivore. It is sick. Life is sick. Zombies is hectic. I'll catch us next time. Bye-bye.